What's going on today, Tyrannus lovers? I'm going to be making this video because I've had a few questions here. Some people keep asking me, uh, Mike, uh, would you just give me your EEPROMP off your radio so I can put it on my radio so I can have all the switches set up the same way you have yours? Uh, I would love to do that, and the reason I don't do that is for two reasons. Number one reason is uh, I'm constantly making changes to this radio all the time, and I've made some new changes to it, and I'll show you what a couple of those are here in a little bit. Uh, so I don't have those old e-prompts anymore because I just delete them. Right now I only have uh, the e-prompt that's on here, and then I have the same e-prompt that's on the radio right now in a backup in case I need it for, for something else. In case I make a mistake, I can just plug the radio back in and uh, download the original e-prompt right back into it and start all over again. Uh, so that's that's the reasons why I don't give them out. Number And then the other reason is, is because uh, if I just give you that e-prompt, you're not going to learn exactly how this transmitter works and you're not going to be able to go in and make any changes that I've done uh, that I put on that e-prompt and I can't guarantee you that your gimbal would work the same or your pot knobs would work the same uh, or anything like that I just couldn't guarantee that because I have a different gimbal than what you have so I don't know if, if it would work the same it might be totally backwards because I have curves set up on my gimbal but um, that's the reason I don't do that. But uh, right now, the only the only bird that I'm flying on this radio right now is my DJI 550, my NASA with a fly, V2 flight controller. Now, if you have that, I can help you set up anything you want. I can make you short videos on that. I do not know how to set this up for like a Naze 32 or a KK2 board because I just haven't experimented with that. I don't have the, that type of uh, aircraft to, uh, to set up on this transmitter. I'm sure I could do it really quick, uh, but I would just have to know more about uh, the NAS32 and the KK2 board uh, software and stuff like uh, what we have for the NASA. But I just wanted to get in here, and I also wanted to make this video because uh, I see a lot of people doing some things, that, and it's okay. Everything they do is just fine. But what you want to remember is this is an open TX, and you really, if you think outside the box here with this transmitter, you can really do some fantastic things with it uh, because uh, you can think outside the box. And uh, let me let me let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about here. Now you can set you can set more than one th one thing up on one switch. Now as you can see on this little switch here, I have this one. Volume control on timer reset. Okay, so Volume now when I flip that switch on, it now sets resets my timer, and I'm now able to uh, control the volume of the radio with that pot knob right there. Uh, but let's go a little step further. Let's say I have a DJI NASA 550 that has landing gear on it, retractable landing gear on it. And, uh, and it has a few other things on it. So let's, let's, just, let's set up one switch so one switch does a lot just by pulling down one switch. So uh, let's say that uh, I have telemetry on that, on that DJI 552. So here's how I would set that up. So as soon as I get it up into a hover in GPS mode, I would pull down this switch right here, which would turn on my telemetry. I don't need to go through all that stuff that it would go through right now if I pulled that switch down. But also, if I pulled that switch down right there, it would also put my landing gear up. That can be done. That's super easy to do. Also, uh, if I pulled that switch down, that it would automatically put my gimbal in a, into a center position and hold it there until I moved it with, either, with my slider. Uh, let's say that uh, something's going wrong all of a sudden, and I, I need to hit the fail safe. Well, the problem you got now, you, you're, you're bringing your bird back to you, but your landing gear is up. So on my fail safe switch, I'd put a land, I'd bring it back home, but I'd also make the landing gear go up or come down as when I flip that switch. See, this is, this is what you have to think about because this is, this, this is just so wide open on this transmitter that you can set that up. Uh, to have my landing gear come down when I hit fail safe so I don't come and land on my on a $400 GoPro and in a $400 gimbal. Uh, that's what I'd really be thinking about because uh, your landing gear is not going to come down if you put it in fell safe unless you have another switch. So it just in just for that case, I would just put that landing gear down and fell safe on the same switch. Uh, so that way there it would always come back to me and I know my landing gear is going to come down when it comes home. So, And I wouldn't have to worry about anything else but just getting it back home. Uh, the other change that I've made here lately on this one is uh, I changed my... Uh, I also have a gimbal set up for here so I can tilt my gimbal, but this always this switch right here is right now when it's all the way back, it, I'm in, my gimbal's in the center position and it's only looking forward. And when I pull the switch gimbal down, down position. The gimbal goes straight down. And it goes down a little faster than what I have it set up on on, on my slider here because I put a different curve on that. 
So it would come down a little faster. So let's say I'm I'm flying over something and I see it in my FPV monitor. I want to stop right there and I want to look around real quick. All I have to do is flip that that switch real quick and keep uh, keep an eye on my my FPV monitor instead of playing with the with the slider. Uh, that's just that's just some of the things you can do. So just remember that you can put all kinds of different things on. On, on one switch. Now you wouldn't be doing that with your flight mode switch, your GPS altitude or manual mode switch. Uh, you know, but you can't. That's the only switch I wouldn't be messing with, or I wouldn't really be messing with the the fell safe switch, except for just landing gear down on that. And when you flip the switch, you can also say fell safe engaged or fell safe on landing gear coming down. Uh, you can do that. That's just how simple this is to do this. This radio is just something you have to get in your hands, and you have to. It has to be in your hands all the time. Uh, this is not a kind of a radio you just want to set aside like most people do with their radios. RC people do. They set it aside, and the only time they use the radio is when they're out flying. This radio you want to have in your hands, and you want to be experimenting with it all the time. Uh, you want to come in here and go through all, this, all the menus that are on here and go through every page that's on here and familiarize, familiarize yourself with what's on each page and what each page does. And, uh, and that will really get... And you also want to get really familiar with the OpenTX Companion. Uh, I don't use the companion that much because I do most of my setup on the radio. But anytime I do a change on the radio, I got to get into my companion to download that new EEPROM. So I have that saved. So that's the reason uh, those two work so well hand in hand. You just have to have those two working hand in hand. It's a must. So you need to get familiar with the radio and you get to have to be familiar with the Companion X. There is a learning curve for this radio. I understand that. And some people are having a little bit of problem with it. And some people are just catching on to it like like wildfire. Uh, but I've had, I have an older uh, uh, fly, uh, not a fly, yeah, fly sky radio that has ER9X firmware on it. It's pretty much the same exact firmware that the Tyrannus is running right now uh, that I've been, I've, I've had that for two years, two and a half years now. So when I got the Tyrannus, all I did with the Tyrannus is I already had my EEPROM made in my, in my companion. And so as soon as I got the Tyrannus, I just plugged it in, downloaded that EEPROM straight into here. And I was ready to fly with this radio immediately within five minutes of unboxing it. So that's the difference between the two radios. I mean, this is just an outstanding radio and you're going to love this radio once you get it uh, once you get it down pat. It's just you have to you have to have hands on this radio and you have to really think outside the box with this radio on things that you can do with it because pretty much anything you can come up with is going to be uh, you can it's possible. I mean, this is the same thing if you're flying an airplane or something and you're uh, and you're coming in for a landing. You can flip one switch, flaps come down, landing gear come down. Uh, everything works all with the flip of one switch. Uh, you know, it's just, this, this radio is just off the hook. And most of the, the radios out there today, you cannot program that into it because they have a firmware that locks you into just using their firmware a special way. But the Tyrannus radio, you're wide open. It's an open TX. Just think of anything you can think of. You can pretty much, you can pretty much come in here and set it up once you learn the setup on this. And 90% of your setup on this is going to be in, in your special custom function switches. Uh, that's where I have I have 33 setups just in that area right there. I might have uh, 15 mixes on this right now. I have three curves, but I have 33 custom custom function system um, switches set up on this. So it says something when I so I know when I hit the radio. I have full blown telemetry on here, so I know what my my hex is doing at all the, all the time that I'm flying it. I know exactly what the radio strength is to the receiver, how far I can go out with that. I know what my main flat flame, uh, main flight battery is doing. Uh, I, I know all that due to my telemetry, uh, and that's just a must-have. Uh, especially if you lose your bird, if a bird goes down and you're half a mile or a mile away from it, you just use your radio itself to lock in on your on your bird. As long as your battery, your main flight battery, don't run out. Uh, but uh, that's just the deal with uh, this radio. You just really have to, this has to be hand. It has to be in your hands all the time. When you're just sitting around and you're not doing nothing, you're watching some stupid-ass movie on TV, and it's boring, and you've seen it 30 times, just pick up your radio and start playing with it. If you make any mistake in here, all you have to do is plug it back in to the Companion X and download the original EEPROM, and you're right back where you started. That's, that's the thing about this. That's how easy this is. So if you make a mistake... Now, the only place that you can really make a bad mistake on this radio is in your system setups. Uh, if you if you have a Tyrannus Plus and if you don't go into your your settings on your companion, your Open TX companion, and you put in Tyrannus, not the Tyrannus Plus in the settings, you'll brick this thing right up, and that's vice versa for the Tyrannus. Uh, if you have 
if you have your settings set up for Tyrannus Plus and you plug it in your Tyrannus into that, it's going to brick it up. So that's the deal. Now it shouldn't do that if you have the latest firmware updates on this. So that's very important on this on this type of radio. Get those updated as soon as you get this radio. Don't hesitate to do that. Don't say I don't know how to do that and I don't want to do that because everything's working just fine. Those updates that come for the firmware to, to fix the problems that are wrong with this with this transmitter, uh, light screens going out, lights going in and out, working off and on, crackling in the speaker working off and on. Uh, all those upgrades that come from them firmware upgrades fix all that. That's what that's for. So get this upgraded to the 2.013. I heard very soon the 2.014 is supposed to be coming out. I have an alert on my iPad. As soon as they uh, as soon as they put that out on the web, uh, that alert will show up in my mail, and I'll go straight to that website, and I'll get the 2.014, and I'll download it straight to this radio the second it comes out because it keeps this thing working the way it's supposed to. It keeps it working perfectly. That's what you want. Do not hesitate to get this thing uploaded. To get it upgraded to the 2.013, you have to really should do that. Everybody should do that. I can't express that enough. This radio is a fantastic radio. I know you want to keep it in working in perfect working condition. Uh, right now, I heard there's some new Tyrannus radios coming out, maybe here in the end of 2015, uh, that are even supposed to have a whole brand new compl alarm. complete firmware set up on them, even better than what's on this radio right now. So I'm really waiting to see what that is. I can't wait. Because I love this radio so much because I can do anything I want with it. So I'm sorry I can't give you them e-prompts because I don't have them anymore because I keep constantly changing everything. But if you have a DJI NASA 550, I can help you set up anything you want on that. All you got to do is email me or go to the Tyrannus, uh, uh, look on my uh, YouTube page or go to the, I have a, on Tyrannus Facebook, I, there's a page on that, I'm on that. And I will help you set up anything you, you want or anything you could possibly need. Uh, we can get that done. I'll just have to make some short videos uh, on how to do that. But I would love to send you the e-prompts, but you're really not going to learn that well if I do that. And I don't know if they're going to work perfectly for you. So that's why I don't send them out. I don't want somebody to come back to me, well, Mike, your e-prompt crashed my crap, you know, because something, you know, I, that's why I don't do that. So, but if you need help on any kind of setup, uh, do not be afraid to ask me because I, I guarantee you I'll get right on it and uh, we'll get it done as soon as possible. All right, so everybody have a good day flying. You all take it easy.